Alright guys, we're going to talk about the next foundry project. It's going to be the Nexus belt. It's important to note that um, we have every intention of having the belt be in the full lineup as a re regular stocking item on the website. However, it's only going to be in black. For this foundry project, we're introducing it in black and Cody brown. The Cody brown will be the, the webbing that goes around the belt. Um, there's no timeline right now for when the black would be part of the regular web store. It could be holiday. So if you want to get in on the Nexus belt, you need to go ahead and submit your order uh, during the two weeks that the Foundry project is going um, so you can receive it early. And then, like I said, later on in the year, you will, uh, you will see just black available in the regular web store. So to kind of go over the design intent with this, um, it was really just meant to be a low profile yet highly capable everyday belt. Um, no secret compartments, no, no hidden stashes or anything like that. Just something um, super slick and clean and easy to wear. Something you could wear all the time, not really know it's there, yet still be rigid enough to take on tools. If, if you choose to conceal carry, throw on additional magazines or tools, um, a spare med kit or something like that. And, and that's exactly what the, uh, what the Nexus belt does. So it's made of three millimeter biothane. So you can see it's fairly rigid, like trying to pinch down on it. Um, it does, does not fold in or pinch, yet there's quite a bit of flex to it. It's supple enough that you can wear it as your base belt and then have a harness on top of it or a battle belt, duty belt, or even your pack belt. Um, so it's great for hiking or activities like that. Um, does great in the water, just, just beads water, doesn't take on water or soak. Um, what you need to do when you're ordering this is order your pants size. So if you wear a 32 in our pants, you wanna order a 32 of the belt. Now what we do for those in-between sizes, or for those of you that do wanna conceal carry and you need a little bit of extra space, um, it is adjustable for about uh, one to one and a half inches. The way that works is you, has a, you have a tri-glide here on the front. You'll simply slide that tri-glide forward and you'll notice that the loop expands another inch, inch and a half. That's to give you a little bit uh, more play in the total circumference of the belt. To tighten it up, again, you would just move that tri-glide back like so, and then it tightens the belt down. It's a simple uh, G-hook attachment that you can see here, and then there's a loop here. Uh, for those of you that like Ferros markers and things like that, um, it's not there. There's uh, spacing back here. So once you get your spacing set, if you want to kind of customize your belt a little bit and attach a Ferros marker or something like that, you can certainly do that. We've seen uh, some questions come across social media asking, you know, are there little uh, attachment points or bells and whistles? And that's really the only one. Again, it's just a super uh, simple, clean belt made in the U.S. It's going to MSRP at $40. Um, and the team here at TAD has been using it for about three years. Um, it does exceptionally well in airport travel. Most metal detectors don't pick up the two small metal pieces, which is the G-hook and the tri-glide. Sometimes they do, um, but you know it's super, super, super easy to take off. And the biothane slides on and off very easily. Um, so it's easy to take on and off should you need to. And yeah, so that's it. That's the, uh, that's the Nexus belt, and that's your latest foundry project.